Hello my loves and welcome back to a new vlog. I am so excited. It is Saturday and I have lots of plans for this weekend. Well really I only have one big like outside plan but in general I just have a lot of stuff I gotta work on this weekend. Um, but yeah today I'm very excited because I'm gonna go meet up with a friend in the city and we're gonna get lunch and we're getting Japanese curry which I haven't had in a while. One of my favorite Japanese curry restaurants in the city is Abiko Curry, which is in K-Town. It's so good! So before I tell you about the book that I'm currently reading, I do want to give a big thank you to this video's sponsor, so I will hand it off to Monica from the future now. So I'm so excited because this video is being sponsored by Book of the Month, who I adore. For the Uninitiated, Book of the Month is a super popular and fast-growing online book service for readers, and their mission is to help promote new and emerging authors while also helping readers discover books they love. The way that it works is that each month their team vets hundreds of books to provide readers with a curated selection of new and early release titles so that you can spend less time researching and more time reading. I love Book of the Month for a variety of reasons but one of them is definitely that you get the best price for new release hardcover fiction plus you can get your first book for just $9.99 using my code which is Monica and I also love that if you are subscribed and there's a month where you're just not really feeling any of the picks. They have a fantastic skip policy, so you can just skip that month and choose something the next month. This month, definitely, there are some really great books in here. The one that I am most excited for, I was so hyped when I opened the box and this was in it, is Fiona and Jane by Jean Chen Ho. If you watched my recent most, if you watched my recent most anticipated books of 2022 video, this was the very first book I mentioned because it comes out this month and I was ju I've just been so excited for this one. It is a literary fiction novel that follows the decades-long friendship between two Taiwanese American women and it like explores their lives through the lens of this friendship and it just sounds fantastic. This is definitely one of those reasons why I was a longtime subscriber of Book of the Month before I even started working with them because they often will have books like these that I am so excited for and I'm able to get them at such a discount counted price and also I love book of the month because they do curate such a good selection of books that I often discover so many amazing reads through them so I was really excited when I saw this one in my box so this is called The Maid and it's by Nita Prose and I'd never heard of it before this cover immediately drew me in and this is meant to be a clue like locked room mystery set in a hotel I am so excited literally all I have wanted in life are like more books that feel like clue like I just I just want to read more murder mysteries that's like one of my big reading goals this year I'm honest I'm trying not to make reading goals but if I had them that would be one um so yeah I was so excited to discover this in this month's picks if you would like to check out these two books or other picks for this month I will have them linked down below so you can learn more all about that but yeah thank you so much to book of the month and now on to the rest of the vlog so I'm actually currently in the midst of the same book that I was in my last vlog which is The Keeper of Night by Kylie Lee Baker I'm really really enjoying this one one. It is basically a like fantasy but it's based in London and Japan and our character is mixed race and I feel like it's just exploring the like concept of being mixed race in this really like amazing way that I am just connecting with so much and loving and just like the experience of being a diaspora Asian person in general like oh my gosh it's just so good so yeah really really enjoying this so far hoping to finish it maybe today but yeah it's a saturday very excited for that and excited to bring you along critical error. I did not look at the date and it is SantaCon day which every year I'm really good about never going into Manhattan during SantaCon. This is the first time I think I've done this in like 
years, many, many years. So luckily it's not too horrible, especially in Koreatown. There are like no Santas. Um, but yeah, always a little chaotic, especially on the trains. I'm here with Emily. Hi. We've got our delicious curries. Very excited. Oh my god. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> that is me. <laughs> Your nails will be brighter than my future. <laughs> <laughs> day today um, Emily and I just um, wandered around the city for a bit we went to book off um, so after so we went to a Biko curry which is one of my favorite restaurants in the city they do such a good Japanese curry um, so we went there for curry it was delicious and then we went and had boba at my favorite <laughs> dessert place in the city which is Gray Street um so also delicious and then we tried to go to Kinokuniya which is a like bookstore um and there was like a line down the block it was weirdly very very busy today in Manhattan I'm not sure I mean I know why SantaCon was happening which like is basically this annual event that occurs in the city and it I believe started out as like an anti-capitalist protest and has turned into just like a day where people dress up as Santa and get really drunk and it can be really overwhelming and annoying to like be in the city at the same time as SantaCon so every year for the past like for as long as I've lived in the city I've avoided it um and this year I just may I just didn't even think to like look at the dates of the event so um but it was honestly it was fine it was not as like crazy as I as I probably was in other areas but like luckily we weren't really in any of the hot spots for the event so it wasn't that bad but like in general I just feel like it was very poppin today in Manhattan like there's just lots of crowds so yeah Kino Kunia had like a line down the block which I I've never seen before so we ended up just walking a few more blocks up we went to book off um and I did end up getting a book it's over here Ooh. Um, which is a manga and Emily just really the way she talked about it got me really excited to read it like the way she described it was very compelling and maybe really excited to read it but um, 
for the life of me I can't remember right now <laughs> in order to describe it to you but it's like a historical romance manga and honestly this edition is just so beautiful like it has these really beautiful like these aren't really end papers but whatever these would be called and then like the design of the jacket is just so pretty and it just like feels so cozy and cute so I decided to pick it up and I'm really excited to read a cute little historical romance so I got that and then we went to Tezo life which is a um, Japanese like convenience store and it's amazing they have so many things that I have that I love that I like fell in love with in Japan um, like foods and drinks and things so I love it but then um, they had like this whole section of really cool blind boxes so we got one of the Pokemon or we each got the like Pokemon ones and I like showed that clip earlier but I got this like really beautiful Rapidash or Galarian Rapidash figurine and it's so pretty I'm absolutely obsessed with it so I'll be putting this on my bookcase so very excited for that and I also picked up a little nail polish that's like super glittery and pink so yeah that was my day very exciting times and now I'm gonna play some Dead by Daylight I finally talked Reagan into buying it I think both Reagan and Clay got it so we're gonna play Dead by Daylight uh, waiting for Maureen and Jesse to get home so we can all play together so that's very exciting and that is my evening that is my Saturday a very good Saturday like lots so much so many friends so many friend moments today Kaylee and I got pizza so love that love that for me <laughs> Hello my love. So it's actually been a few days, maybe a couple of weeks since that last day that I vlogged. Um, yeah, so basically a couple of days after that my mom came to visit me and we had some really lovely days in the city. Um, had got up to lots of hijinks. I got to take her to see the Rockettes which is something that she's wanted to see for many many years so it was really cool to get to do that and just to like do lots of like Christmassy things in the city so yeah we had that and I almost vlogged it but honestly I was like so focused on making sure that like we got to all the things we were trying to get to so just like it didn't really make sense to add on the additional um vlogging task to my days so I didn't vlogging that and then after that I came home with her and we celebrated Christmas which was also lovely so yeah it's a few days after Christmas it's almost New Year's I've been reading really well over the past few days I feel like I tweeted about this the other day but I feel like my reading is either that I read non-stop back to back to back or I just don't touch a book for weeks and I am currently in the non-stop reading time um so I finished uh the keeper of oh gosh why am I blinking on the name the keeper of night keeper of shadow uh I finished that and I really really liked it overall thought it was like such a good just like solid YA fantasy story really loved the world building and just all of that um and then I also really loved the representation in it I feel like it's such a good discussion around like the diaspora experience and the mixed race experience there are like some nitpicky things um but nothing like really big that stood out to me as far as like things I didn't like so yeah I, I really enjoyed the overall and I'm super excited to see what happens in the rest of the series because I feel like this book more than like most other YA fantasies that I've read really allowed its main character to like go to some dark places and to do some dark things so I really liked that the ending was definitely like explosive oh my gosh so good so yeah I read that which I really enjoyed I read A Boy Called Christmas which I thought was fine I read it because I wanted to read something Christmassy so I, I picked that one up thought it was fine watched the film thought the film was also fine which is rare for me because I was so excited because I love Sally Hawkins and like everything so I was a little sad that I didn't love that as much as I thought I was going to finished watching Wheel of Time and so then I got all of those books on my Kindle which I'm very excited well all of them I got like the first three uh, I'm very excited to read those uh, because definitely the series made me just like really want more of that world and made me excited to read like some really good expansive fantasy so I picked those up definitely planning on reading those and I also finished reading Vita Nostra which is my patreon book club pick for January um, and I'm really excited to discuss that with 
people because I that was just like one of those fantasy one of those like books that just leaves leaves you with so many questions and ideas and just definitely like is a more existential kind of novel um, but overall really fun it's basically like if you took the secret history and made it like a fantasy novel and also like threw in some Kafka like that is how I would, just, I would describe Vita Nostra or Vita Nostra very very good very like dark and interesting so I really enjoyed that and lately I've just been reading webtoons <laughs> so I started reading this webtoon called Let's Play which I picked up because it looked like a cute gaming related webtoon which it is um, but it's definitely like a romance um, and it's so cute and fun and just ridiculous and over the top so I've been having fun reading that I'm on season three now so I've been flying through that and yeah those are my my current reading updates um, I believe my sister nephew and I are gonna go to Barnes & Noble tonight because I think it's the last day of their 50% off hardcover sale so we're gonna go check that out after dinner which I'm very excited for uh, even though I definitely don't need new books but you know never know what you'll find so I'll bring you along for that but that's my quick little update on what's been going on these past few days interested in but to be honest most of the books that I'm like oh I kind of want that are all paperbacks so ooh, oh well hello friends I am currently doing some eye masks but we got back from Barnes & Noble a little while ago and the sale was fun just to like browse around and find things um, I feel like for the most part everything that I really wanted to buy which is like this probably good thing <laughs> we're mostly in paperback and I really wanted to take advantage of the sale so um, I didn't touch any of the paperback stuff so but I mean honestly it's a good thing because <laughs> I probably would have left with so many more books um, but I'm really happy with the books that I did end up picking up there is one that I thought I didn't end up getting but apparently I did so hopefully I like it um, the one I'm most excited for though is um, Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Doerr and I'm super excited about this one because it's the beautiful cloth bound edition it's so stunning so this one is normally $50 so I got it for $25 I'm very excited about that and it has a ribbon in it it's just absolutely beautiful I'm so excited for that then I ended up picking up the ivory key by um, Akshaya Raman and this one is an Indian inspired fantasy that's really all I know about it the cover is what drew me in I just I thought it was stunning um and this was the one that I thought I didn't get because I was like oh well maybe I'll wait for paperback I wasn't 100% sure about this one because it's gotten pretty mixed reviews and yeah I feel like sometimes I um I'm pretty hit or miss when it comes to YA fantasy like it needs to be like phenomenal so I'm hoping I really like this one um people on Twitter were really excited about it so I'm hoping that they were right and we will we will see we will see how I get on with it um then I also picked up I was very excited I got the second rebel by Lyndon A. Lewis this is the sequel to the first sister which I really really enjoyed this one is like double the size so very intrigued and excited about that um, and then lastly, lastly, I picked up The King of Infinite Space by Lindsay Fay. I actually had never heard of this book, but I had heard of Lindsay Fay's other book, Jane Steele, which I have not read, but my friend Joss loves it. Um, and so I still really want to read it. But this 
is a retelling of Hamlet and it is a um, lush, magical, queer, and feminist take on Hamlet in modern day New York City. So, so yeah, very, very excited for that. So that is my little haul. I also picked up um, One Night Werewolf, the card game, um, which my nephew, niece, and sister and I just played for like the last couple of hours and it was so much fun. Definitely one of my favorite card games if you're ever looking for something that's just like a blast to play with a bunch of people, but that's also like really easy. Definitely recommend that one. And now I'm about to spend the next few hours, it's like 1 a.m. Um, and I completely forgot, but I did want to have a new video up tomorrow because it's been a minute. I feel like I've been very um, not as consistent in like December and a bit of November, which I'm not super happy about. So trying to fix that. <laughs> so I had to edit this video tomorrow, which I'm really excited for. It's my most anticipated reads um, for 2022 video. Um, so I'm excited for that. And thankfully it'll be a faster edit because here's a little behind the scenes tidbit the basically sit down videos like that take hours upon hours to like research plan and film when i filmed that it was basically like seven hours <laughs> filming it but it tends to be a lot faster in the editing process whereas with vlogs like this are really e pretty easy to film because i'm just like you know shooting like a few minutes each day and it's definitely more off the cuff but it takes hours upon hours to edit because there's so many clips you have to find music do like fancy editing stuff um so it's kind of like two different two very different processes um ends up being about the same amount of time just depending on just spent differently for each so a little behind the scenes there but yeah i'm about to take these eye masks off and uh kick off my editing for the evening so hopefully i'm not up too late hello my loves so it is a couple days later since that last clip was filmed and i am now back home in pennsylvania no <laughs> in New York City. I am now back in New York City. Um, I left this morning and I'm always sad when I leave home. You know, I love, I, I'm one of those people I just like, I love just hanging out with my family and doing nothing. It's definitely like one of my favorite activities. <laughs> so it's always hard to leave and I'm always a little sad, but I am also excited to be back you know, just like in the comfort of my own bed and everything that is always really nice. But yeah, I haven't really done anything today other than come back here. I did, <laughs> I actually, so while I've been away, my friends Jeremy and Jeffrey have been very kind and picked up a couple of packages for me and one of them was my book of the month box. <laughs> and um, so I went to go pick that up today and as I was getting to uh, to Jeffrey, because he was the one who's gonna be giving me the box, as I was like walking up to him, I literally slipped on someone's old umbrella that they just left on the ground, and completely face planted onto the sidewalk. And <laughs> now my body hurts, and it was really rough. I, like almost, I, for some reason, every time I fall, I like black out basically. So I almost fainted. Um, and luckily Jeffrey, like, he just sat with me for a little while as I, like, collected myself. But, yeah, it was a rough start to the new year. <laughs> yesterday was actual New Year's, and yesterday was perfection. Like, I just spent it with my family. We played Monopoly. I won Monopoly, which I never win Monopoly. So that was great. Just had lots of laughs. And I did start reading Cloud Cuckoo Land, which this tripod is currently sitting on, so I can't hold it up. But I started that about 50 pages into it and oh my gosh, it's phenomenal so far. The writing is just absolutely stunning as one would expect with Anthony Doerr. I definitely would recommend it so far for anyone who um, read Starless Sea and really liked that. Like it's definitely that sort of like metafiction kind of storytelling that I really, really love. I've come to learn. So I feel like that's something I really should investigate and like try and find more of this year because yeah, I feel like that's maybe a little bit of a genre that I'm discovering I'm very into. Feeling good, feeling excited. Um, I hope you all had a lovely new year and that you are safe and warm and reading something lovely right now. But yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye!